What is going on, my crypto degenerates? It's Dr. Wookie. I'm going to be showing you how to bridge onto the blast layer two, how to swap while you're on it, and then how to bridge out without having to wait 14 days. So let's go to jump in. I spent about 200 bucks bridging on and off and doing all kinds of stuff to try to figure this out. And I got it down to about 30 bucks of bridging on and then bridging off total. Okay, so that's a great price. Now, if you don't know what blast is, it's a new layer two. Uh, basically, it's a native yield layer two. So essentially, when you put your Ethereum on there, you're automatically earning 4% yield on it, which is super crazy and awesome without having to like specifically stake, right? And then if you put your USDC or other stable coins on there, you're earning like 15% yield or something because they're using MakerDAO. And then, of course, with Ethereum, they're basically staking it to you know do validator kind of stuff. And I think there's about 2.6 billion locked on it right now. So of course, tons and tons of scammers. So please be very careful. If you want to actually hear about the absolute best project on here, definitely click that link above on that video, zap. And I go over that. That should be up within 24 hours after I post this video. Definitely don't miss that. Now, when I did all this, I did it at about 20 guay, just so you kind of have an idea of where I was. Now, instead of using the blast site to bridge, okay, from a cost perspective, this was the best, cheapest way and super simple. Rhino.fi is what I use, I, and you just use Ethereum. So Ethereum from Ethereum, you go onto Blast using Ethereum, bridge, boom, it's like 60 seconds and it is on there. It cost me seven bucks when I did this earlier. Blast, I deposited on here using their bridge and I deposited USDC. It costs like 150 bucks to like bridge that, which was crazy. And if you do bridge USDC or USDT, it automatically will convert it to USDB, which is Blast Layer 2 stablecoin, okay? Once you are on here, you go ahead and you can go to Thruster to do some swapping, okay? So this was super simple to do, obviously did not cost very much at all. You go ahead and just choose ETH to USDB or back and forth, and it's like instantaneous, and that was super easy to swap my USDB back to ETH. And of course, if this video helps you, saves you a bunch of time, saves you a bunch of money, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. You don't even have to click the notifications. You just pay me by that little subscribe click. Now, there's a 14 day withdrawal period if you're using the Blast site for bridging. I found that Orbiter, you can literally do it in 60 seconds, okay? So there's no wait period. The big thing with this is when you are using their layer two bridge, and you can see that I got this Ethereum off. When you're using the layer two bridge, you have to change your value to just four digits four digits otherwise you're going to get like a json error over here okay so do it to four digits you click it it was like 20 bucks to bridge off of blast back to ethereum it cost me like 22 bucks and you can see that i got all my ethereum back off when i had bridged on about 2400 dollars, did all the swapping and stuff so of course i lost a little bit of money off you know the fees and the bridging to show you this amazing video hopes that was super useful for all of you and as always stay warm wookies Thank <laughs> you.